Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. We're going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this reading is really not time specific and it can go vice versa. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, what do we have for Gemini? September 7th through the 13th. Please give me one card for Gemini. appreciation so this is a week of being appreciated by the looks of things somebody may be appreciating your hard work you may be, be being appreciated for all that you have done you know a rose is a symbol of romance so I'm not you may be getting you know a romantic offer or somebody is showing their affection towards you this week. Either way, somebody really appreciates you, and I think that they're going to be, you know, showing it. Somebody's going to be showing their appreciation towards you. You are appreciated. You're appreciated for your beauty. I mean, look at how beautiful that person is. If you're a male watching this, obviously that's a female. I feel like you 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 may be appreciating a, a female that is. I mean, it looks like this person is pretty down to earth. They're outside, you know, um, a nature lover of some sort. This is a woman to be appreciated. Put it that way. Mental conflict. Now, this is the Two of Swords. So, there is an element of mental conflict this week. Maybe, maybe uh, we have some sort of um, duality torn between two directions. Uh, this is definitely a... When I mean, you get this mental conflict, you're, you're obviously conflicted over a choice. And the Two of Swords can be, you know, somebody that is unable to see the truth. Okay, may have somebody here that is blocking their emotions. They're avoiding the truth. There's some sort of being caught in the middle or denial. Okay, so I feel like there's definitely some some uh, confusion here as well. If you look at those eyes right there, they look kind of uh, distraught. So I'm not sure what is going on, but you may be in a state of of mental conflict over. You know, whether you are appreciated or not. You may, you could also be dealing with, you know, we have a woman and we have a man here. We could have a man that is confused, that is torn between two different avenues. We have a woman that is to be appreciated, but there's obviously a choice that needs to be made. So, um, hmm. there's an element of being conflicted, having a hard time making a choice thinking about it a lot this woman is obviously very valuable beautiful will not settle so this one won't settle oh, there we go we'll take those caterpillar Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So a change is coming. What does a caterpillar, caterpillar turn into? A butterfly. A butterfly is a symbol of transformation. Butterflies are absolutely beautiful. So things are going to change for the better. Sunrise. New creative ideas. New ventures. A fresh start. So things are definitely going to get better. Beware of self-delusion. So that's an issue. That's what we got right here. That is what we... So this could be you, male or female. We have somebody here that is conflicted, that they are torn. What I have to say is remember your value. If you are torn between two options, consider what you're worth. 
Does the pre person that you are questioning appreciate you? Things are going to change and they are going to change for the better. You have a fresh start that is coming where you will be appreciated. Oh, hell. You saw that? That happened fast. So that's strength. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower. But that is in their arena. Okay, this could be... Yeah, well, let's see what happens. Whoever you're dealing with is very... Uh, strong, put it that way. This is your energy. This is going to be the overall energy. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. So there is some sort of... Um, it's interesting. Because we got the Three of Cups here, which is a celebration. It's having fun with friends, socializing. But that's your energy. This is a time to celebrate. But this is heartbreaking. This could be something that is bittersweet. Because this is bittersweet. But whoever you are dealing with, they may be enjoying the control they had over you because the strength card is about control. Enjoying power. And this is their energy. You could be dealing with somebody that is fearless, that is very strong and confident. But this is having a lot of fun. That's your energy. Okay. Socializing, but heartbreaking. So there's some sort of heartbreak here. Ooh. Cups. Mm. You are, it's like we have a third party situation here. So far we got three threes. Uh, the overall, end. there's like an unrequited love situation here. Okay. I'm sorry, but there is. But that page of, that's the overall energy, the page of cups reverse. That's unrequited love. That is, uh, Shattered dreams, a bubble burst, uh, drama queen, reject, rejection, tears. Whoever you are dealing with may be very immature. Uh, they may act like a child. There's relationship problems. We have somebody here that is very controlling. This is, this is their energy. This is your energy. This is the overall outcome. This is how I read the cards. Okay, so I feel like there's, there's some... Whoever you've been dealing with is very much working with somebody else. Okay, they are. There's some element of togetherness with a third party. And this, I don't know what this third party is. It's like they're being taught how to do something. They're learning how to do something different. They're working with somebody else, whoever you're, whoever we're talking about. This is relationship problems. This is, uh, could be children leaving the home, a dying dream. This is shattered dreams as well. So I'm not sure what is going on here. I feel you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, we have Pisces again. We have another Gemini. We have Leo. I think I already said that. I feel as though you are not seeing something clearly. You may be ignoring. You may be ignoring the truth about a relationship. This person, Whoever this person is, they probably have complete power over you. Um, they may be very attractive. You know, you may be very attracted to this person. They know it. They have a big ego. That is a card of ego. I feel like um, whoever you are questioning during this reading is working together with somebody else. They are working together with somebody that they... Uh, This is an attraction of some sort. This is very attractive, okay? Because that strength card is very attractive. This could, this is like a, and I hate to say it, it's like a home wrecker. They may have met this person through their job, through their work. They were put on a project and that's how they met, that kind of thing. Anyhow, the Ten of Cups reverse is a dying dream. It's relationship problems. Could be children leaving the home. You're probably going to need to find your strength. It's like you've given your power away. 
to somebody. I feel like this week, you know, you, you need to really listen to your intuition. You need to really open your eyes. This is your energy. I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed that you and you've been ignoring it. You've been trying and you have because that is ignoring as well the two of swords. Somebody has been ignoring the truth, avoiding the truth. I feel like there's a third party situation here if this is relationship, uh, if this is in regards to a relationship. I feel like there's a third party that has been, you know, I, I'm just going to pretend that this isn't happening. Well, it is happening. If this is in regards to anything else, it could be have to do with a job. There could be a separation. There's going to probably be a separation. This is heartbreaking. But this is a, a, a choice in love that has brought in two people together, soulmates. So this is, there's soulmate. There's a soulmate connection here. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So I feel like this is, this is bittersweet. Okay, this is, a, I feel like you have been... Something, there could be a partnership that isn't ending successfully because whoever uh, you've been pining over, you've been with, meets their soulmate. I'm sorry, I'm not, or you meet your soulmate, could go vice versa, like I said. We do have a soulmate connection here, but I think there's ignorance. I'm just, I'm just saying the high priestess is re reversed. It's like, I, I'm ignoring I'm ignoring. I feel like I feel like you are probably losing control or you're not being very wise or you maybe you just don't have enough experience with the whole situation. Um, I feel like this there's uh, being deserted. You may be feeling like you're be, you're be, you've been deserted by this person. I feel like there's it feels like somebody could even be leaving without saying goodbye with this world card reversed. Whoever you're dealing with may have also had some unfinished business with somebody from their past. Um, the overall energy between you and whoever you're asking about, I feel like, you know, there's no, I, I don't feel like it's going to come, like a relationship is going to come out of this. I feel like you have somebody else in your future. Um, I'm sorry to say that. I'm, I'm sorry to somebody that will appreciate you. But it comes after heartache. I feel like you have to complete a cycle, okay, with somebody that you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding this ending. You have. I feel that's what I feel. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with um, has been communicating and maybe even going out with another person that is that they are very attracted to. Um, this person it has you wrapped right around their little finger, and they know it. And they know, and they know that you can't see. They know that you can't see the truth. They know it. They know that you're in denial, and so therefore they have complete power over you. Anyhow, Gemini, I feel as though uh, the overall energy is heartbreaking. Okay, the Three of Swords. That is a separation. It is a loss. That is grief. Okay, it's sadness. I feel like you are you know, going to, there's some sort of rejection here. I think that there's, there's a rejection that is on the horizon because there's a new soulmate connection and it could be for you. You could be the one doing the rejecting. There is going to be a rejection because we have, we have two people coming together that are meant to be together. These people see eye to eye. They are kindred spirits. They were brought together from, you know, Cupid. Cupid brought these two people together. Um, they have they have some sort of contract that isn't over. So and I feel like it almost feels like it's some sort of reconciliation with some you know, and I don't know what this reconciliation is, but it feels like it's a reconciliation. I feel like you um may get angry. You may get angry. Um Somebody is dealing with an individual that is self-centered, that is unreasonable, that really doesn't care, okay? We have somebody here that really, really doesn't care about feelings. This could be a business owner of some sort that deserts you in the time of need. This person is, is entitled. 
and a secret is about to be revealed. So if there has been some sort of cheating or third party interaction, I feel like we have a home wrecker here. I do. I'm just saying, I think that you are going to find out about it. I think that, and if you're, or if you're that third party, some, it's going to get, some, the truth is going to come out this week. The truth is going to come out. I feel like it's just like gossip. It is. Um, somebody's about to get um, a rude awakening by the looks of things. I feel like uh, we have somebody here that has been stuck. They've been stuck on uh, staying in some sort of relationship that isn't happy. And maybe it's because of, I don't know, social embarrassment or something like that. Beware of self-delusion. Things are about to change. They are about to change. Somebody hasn't been learning from their mistakes. They've been flogging a dead horse. There is an unexpected choice in love that is coming. Somebody is, is choosing. I feel like it's a new partner. They are. They're choosing a new partner. Because wherever they're at, it's not successful. It's unrequited love. It is. And somebody's been being naive. I feel like this week you are going to have to be strong. You're going to have to take your power back. Okay? You're going to have to take and you're going to have to open your eyes and accept the truth of a situation. You can't keep ignoring it. It feels like you've been ignoring the truth. I feel like... Uh, There, for some of you, there is also an opportunity to heal. There's op an opportunity to heal. There could be a reconciliation here with somebody that uh, broke your heart. This person deserted you. Maybe for somebody that was more attractive to them, you know, sexually attractive. A change is definitely coming. Some of you are, if you're single and you're watching this and you've been regaining strength and you've been healing, you have a new partner. You have a new partner that is coming in. They are bringing you together with somebody that is perfect, absolutely perfect. This is definitely a time of transformation and change. I'm positive. This is not the person that didn't appreciate you. This is not the narcissist. Okay. If you have been alone, you're not going to be alone much longer. I just got to tell you, you're not, this is being alone and not, you are, if you've been alone, you're not going to be alone much longer. A change is coming. Somebody that will appreciate you. It's probably, it could be another Gemini. This is a con making a conscious change to let go. You're going to be letting go of something, something that has been holding you down, weighing you down. Balance is waiting. You're going to be leaving something behind. Freeing yourself. Get prepared to hear some truth, okay? Something is going to be revealed. And I feel like it breaks you free from an unrequited love relationship where it was one-sided. Even if you loved that person, something is going on here. And you're going to need to find your strength to deal with this painful separation. And it is going to be a painful stress uh, separation. Stressful. 
but it really is a time to celebrate because this gives you an opportunity for a fresh start. It does. It really, really, really does. So anyway, I feel like it's a bittersweet ending that leads to a soulmate. And when I say reconciliation, that you may never have met this person. And when you meet them, you feel the soulmate connection. And that's a reconciliation. I do see a reconciliation here. With somebody that you have unfinished business with. Whoever this person was that came into your life came to teach you skills. To get you ready for this soulmate. So that you could appreciate them when they arrived. So that's why. That's why all this happened. The, the third party, you know, the, the, the rejection happened to teach you to appreciate this soulmate when they come in. And you will. Good luck.